Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Today, we're going to talk about how to make really, really good thumbnails uh, to attract your audience. I told you guys, if, if a lot of you do videos, these are very important uh, to, to peak interest, uh, to get a lot of clicks on your videos, and to help grow your channel extremely fast. Um, so a lot of you thought you had to have some crazy, you know, uh, expensive software, but I'm here to tell you that the software that you need is in the app store uh, on your phone. You can make thumbnails like mine. You can make thumbnails like, you know, the guru, I mean, not the gurus, but the, uh, the internet couples that you see. Uh, you'll be able to make thumbnails like Dan Locke with the same software, kind of like FouseyTube, as well as other, you know, YouTubers and things like that. All right. So I'm going to show you that software uh, now. The name of the software is called PixArt. Okay. So I'm going to Google it. But I'd rather you do it on your phone. You could do it from uh, the actual website, but I'd rather you do it on your phone because I think they have one uh, option that you don't have uh, on the computer. They have an option on the phone that you don't have on the computer, right? So this is the name. Uh, you can type this in the App Store, right? And you will be able to get it. And as soon as you get it, um, you'll be able to open it up. Now, I'm going to show you on the mobile version on my phone in just a second, but one thing I want to go over is the color chart. So, if you go to uh, Google and you type in uh, color emotion guide, okay, no matter what you're doing um, online, especially if you're doing make money online stuff, then you kind of want to look at this chart because it'll show you, you know, what colors mean certain things, right? And you'll see all these big companies use, you know, yellow uh, and then orange. They'll just give you all the companies that use certain colors. And there's a reason why they use certain colors. OK, so if I click on here, as you notice, let me zoom in. As you notice on the colors that I use, um, they're based off of this. So I use green first and foremost. Why? Do I use green? It said green is associated with wealthy, the easiest color for the eyes to process, right? Used to relax in stores. Um, so, you know, a lot of stores use this as well. Then I also use red. Red uh, is energy creates, uh, it increases the heart rate, creates urgency, often, you know, seen in clearance sales. So, you know, most clearance racks have, you know, the red tag and the red label when they go on sale, right? And I also use yellow, youthful, uh, used to grab attention uh, for shoppers and I kind of use an orangish color as well creates a call to action to subscribe by or sell so as you can see uh, on mine sometimes I got I use the yellow sometimes I used on the credit when I use like the orangish color but I use all of these colors uh, for for a reason right they all have their own purpose uh, subconsciously uh, you know and things like that so you know, that's a reason for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my phone and I'm going to walk you through the process on how to uh, do the thumbnail. So let's get to it. OK, guys. So the first thing you want to do, I go to Google. This is the first thing I do. Right. As you can see, I already have a car pulled up. But let's say I go to Google. This is uh, particularly mine, but you could type in whatever background you want to. You could type in solid background. I usually type in like a beach right because I love the colors in it it's nice and bright uh, looks really good so let's say I choose this one here I'll click this one I'll just hold down until it gives me the download image right I will download that image I'll exit out of this then I go to PixArt alright once I click PixArt I will click the little plus sign at the bottom right here that's circling you click that and you click the image that you just downloaded right so I click the image I downloaded OK, now I'm here. Now you see this menu at the very bottom of the page. OK, this menu is where you're going to click tools. You're going to click crop. And then you're going to go all the way down here, scroll to the, the left and click on YouTube. So it'll crop it directly for YouTube. OK, and then you click the check mark at the uh, top right. And that saves it. OK, from there, I then go to effects. That's right next to tools. I click on the FX for effects and I click blur. You always want to blur the background 
uh, you don't have to blur the background, but I typically blur the background so that way they can uh, see the picture a lot clearer, uh, whatever picture you have in the foreground. So then I click the check mark again to save that. I go over here, I scroll to the left, and I find Add Photo. I click that, right, and then I pick a photo that I have, right? So I can scroll through my photos, uh, and let's say I want to use this one. I'll add this one, okay? And I use this little arrow at the bottom that's pointing down. I use that to drag it and make it bigger. And I move it to whatever side I want it to go to. Okay. After that, I go back down to the menu section at the bottom. And you see where it says cut out and it has the scissors. I click that. And then I just draw around the portion that I want to uh, remove. So I'll draw around it. Draw around my body, and it's going to remove the background. It's only going to keep what, you know, is in red. Let's just say I just do this right here. And then I'll click the, the arrow at the top right. So I'll click that arrow, and it saves everything for me. Bingo. If I like it, I click Save. Now I'm out, okay? You see that? Now, to get the white border around myself, I go back to the menu at the bottom. I scroll over to the left, and I click Border. You see how that border popped up? Now, I, if you see the thickness, I can control the thickness by moving it up and down. So if I only want a little bit, I can do a little bit. If I want to move myself kind of down so, or stretch myself even bigger, I can do that. And then I could also change the colors right here, right, based on, you know, whatever color scheme I'm going with. So I'll just usually do white. And then I'll click the check mark at the top to save that. All right, after that, it's time to add text. So I would go here to the menu again, and I would find text, click that, and now it's time to write whatever it is. Now, if you're in the Make Money Online niche, uh, usually uh, money is usually what gets most of the attention. So even if you put like, let's say I do 500, right? And this is even if you haven't even made money. This is just to catch people's attention. So you can say uh, 500 here. These are my colors. You can use your own colors. You know what I mean? You ain't got to copy exactly, you know, how I do it. You may have your own ideas, but I usually do green, right? And then after I clicked on colors and did green, I go right next to colors where it says stroke, click stroke, and then it automatically gives me like a black border. And if I do it back and forth on the amount, so I'll come back to where it's like small. And then I could also grab this little arrow on the 500 and I can stretch it even bigger, right? And then I'll click the check mark at the top to save it and I'll go back to text and I could do per day and then I will go back to colors in the menu section and I would change mine to red and I would click the check mark to save it and then I would go right next to color to click stroke again for the little background. See how dark I want it, I would stretch it out again and I will move mine there right and then I would put a strategy right so you could do however you want to or whatever you want yours to say but I'm just showing you exactly how I do mine and then I usually do like yellow or like a orangish yellow and then I would do the same thing here stretch it as, as big as I want to and then for the last part I usually do emojis on mine so I'll do like a money bag, uh, some money, and some fire. And I'll just save those, and I'll move them right under here. Bingo. Right? After that, you're pretty much done. If that's how you like it, you'll just click the check mark at the top, save. You'll click the arrow at the very top, pointing to the right. You'll click that, and then you would just click save at the bottom. Save, and then... Where it says, don't click send or upload privately, just click save and it'll save it directly to your camera roll, bingo. Then I usually just uh, email it to myself and then I upload it on YouTube. So that's how it's done, guys. That's how you can create really good thumbnails and eye-catching thumbnails to get more clicks and views on YouTube. Hopefully this video helped, guys. If you have any other questions, comment below. Make sure you like this video, share it, and uh, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.